Have you overseeded or do you have a cool season grass and you want to keep it green through the fall and the winter? We're going to tell you how. We'll give you some details on what type of fertilizer to use and the timing, which is really the most important part. Pretty good. Nice color, dense, came up nicely. I like it. So this lawn is a hybrid Bermuda lawn and it had some real problems right at the tail end of the summer that we address. And it's starting to get better when our weather cooled completely and we overseeded it with perennial ryegrass, which you can see is a way to instantly solve everything. It came up beautifully. Our challenge is how do we keep it looking great and how do we make it so we don't have that problem with fungus as the weather warms next year. This is a warm season grass that as soon as we start getting cool temperatures turns brown. And if you want it to be green all year round, then you have to overseed it, which Enrique did here. He overseeded it with perennial rye. You might have seen him, or if you didn't, check out last week's video on maintenance in the fall and the winter. Then you have the challenge of how do you feed it to keep it looking really good when the temperatures aren't that conducive to lawn really thriving. If you want the absolute greenest around, then what you need to do is focus on nitrogen that will release when we still have a little bit of warm weather. Like today, here in Fresno, California, we're gonna get into the probably 70 degrees. Well, in that temperature, fertilizer will release, it will color up the lawn really well, and we wanna spend this part of November focused on getting our lawn as juiced up as possible with nitrogen because that will carry over into December and January. In January, we don't have the weather for it, but it'll still have the vestiges of that nitrogen and it'll still look good. So this is a very strategic month. Our Nourish Biosol or Value Rich will work as long as the highs are in the 70s. When you get into highs in the 50s or even low 60s and lows in the 30s, then it's less effective. If you overseed and use blend and penetrate, then you're good to go from a soil standpoint, but you'll have the same issue of the color of the lawn starting to fade as soon as the weather gets cool. A lot of times what I'll recommend is to use our product but to also, this is probably the one time of the year to people that want their lawn really green through the winter, I'll recommend a synthetic fertilizer and that is what you might call a winterizing fertilizer. And those winterizing fertilizers, they'll have a form of nitrogen that releases in cool weather. That's why they call it winterizing. No matter what kind of lawn you have, fall and winter is a much more disease-free time. Rust is a common one, and prevent the rust by hyping it up on nitrogen. The best way to get rid of rust is to grow it out of the rust with, with nitrogen. If you have some warm weather, you can do that pretty easily. So there's, there's nothing involving health of the soil or the lawn uh, that requires you to fertilize in November. It's purely an aesthetic issue. It's not like if your lawn's really green, you're gonna be less likely to have fungus next summer if you had a fungal problem before. No, to be less likely to have fungal issues in the summer, I would use our Optimize, which isn't gonna help your color at all because uh, there's not much nitrogen in it. But I would use Optimize right now in either November or December. It's a soil conditioner and it breaks down very slowly. It's not gonna break down quickly with rain and leach through the soil. It's gonna hold right here. I'm not a fan nor do I recommend using fertilizer on plants and trees in the fall and the winter. The exception to that is our Optimize. Now on my own lawn, I don't use a synthetic fertilizer. I just use Nourish Biosol. It'll release now as long as the highs are where they are. And then in January, usually it'll start to look not quite so green. As soon as we get to February, then I'll apply Nourish Biosol again in order to green it up. And the neat thing about that Nourish Biosol is I know that it's good for the soil. I'm building the soil while I'm addressing the color of the lawn. Whereas if I use that one-time synthetic fertilizer, it's strictly 
to address the color of the lawn. It's not building the soil. In fact, if you use too much of it, it's bad for the soil. Hopefully this video from Chip and I has been helpful. You know, we're very close to 30,000 subscribers. We're trying to hit that in November. So tell everyone you know to subscribe. My friend Jonathan just subscribed on uh, Sunday. So I don't, I, I don't have that many friends like Jonathan that I can tell. So I'm relying on you to subscribe. People that I don't necessarily know, but see our videos and uh, no other people that might be benefited from uh, a channel like ours that focuses on real life horticulture, real life landscape and gardening and real life soil. And that's what we want is lively soil. So help us get to 30,000 and uh, get some more subscribers.